Welcome to the tutorial through the Wiki Loves Africa Upload Wizard. So this tutorial is just to show you what you can expect when uploading images that are part of Wiki Loves Africa and then later on when you wish to contribute to Commons in your own time. This is the Commons landing page for Wiki Loves Africa and you can see a whole load of very inf interesting information. First of all, what we're going to do is we are going to click on the Upload Now button at the top and you will land on the information page, which will give you vital information, first of all, about what Commons is, but also about your rights as the image maker and what to expect from the license and how the, your image is going to be used both on Wikimedia projects, but also further on because of the license that you're assigning it now. Then you can select the media to upload. And I've done this test image here for upload. This image is now uploaded and we press continue. Just check that it is tagging the work as your work. So this is where we enter all of the details that are required. And here we have the image title. The caption I'm going to enter is So we have a caption which explains what the file represents, the description which gives more information. We can also add both of those in different languages, but we are not doing that right now. And then we have the date in which the image was either created or whether it was first published online. So we're going to just have today's date. In the categories, we can also assign different categories here. So there is an image for Jacob's Ladder. This is a sign. So there is a category that exists. You can see there's a drop down. If there isn't a drop down, then it's best maybe not to uh, include that. OK, then this is very important. You should select the country from which the image has come. So that's a very, very important addition in order for you to be included if your country is doing a separate prize category. And then you can also, if you know it, you can enter the location information or any other information and then publish the file. So there's another new additional space here where you can add information that links to Wikidata items. So in this case, we could put signage and it links to, there's a sign. So we're talking about that sign there. And then we can have say car and that would link to a car and then road. And this helps to improve the usage of the images that are uploaded. And then if we can include the location, which would be Cape Town. So we can include that. And then, so what we're going to do here is just publish data, that data and the data is licensed separately. You can see the information down there. And then this is the final, the image is uploaded, the information you have released the right. And then you have described what is on the image and then you've added data and now you can use it. So this down here at the bottom, this is a URL. So it's just the link to find this image on Wikimedia Commons. And then the one above is the code that you use if you wish to insert it into, say, the relevant article on Wikipedia in your language. And all of this is very important. And you don't have to just only do one at a time, you can batch upload. So you can upload up to say 20 at a time of the images. It just takes a while filling in all the different details and information, some of which you can copy and are automated. So good luck. Thank you very much. And I hope this makes it clearer.